Let's take a look at the charge on the sulfate ion. So the sulfate ion, that's SO4 2 minus, and the charge is 2 minus. This is probably one you want to remember. You'll see this quite often. There are two ways we can really figure this out. One is to think about compounds that have the sulfate ion in them. So something like Na2SO4, that's sodium sulfate, or calcium sulfate, CaSO4. If we look at sodium, that's in group one on the periodic table. So that's a one plus. We have two of them. So two times one plus is two plus. This whole sulfate ion has to be two minus for those charges to balance out. For calcium, it's in group two. So it has a two plus. Since we have the two plus here, the whole sulfate ion, it's a polyatomic ion. It's going to stay together. That's going to be two minus. So that's one way to think about where the two minus comes from here with the sulfate ion. The other way is to look at formal charge. So I have a Lewis structure here, and I have the formal charge written in. So we have a zero here on the double bonded oxygens. So we have a double bond, formal charge is zero. The formal charge of that central sulfur is zero. But these single bonded oxygens here, they have a formal charge of negative one. If you need help calculating formal charges, there's a link at the end of this video to do that. So negative one and negative one, that's where we get that two minus from for the ionic charge. And ionic charge, when we write that, we do put the negative sign after the number. Do note that there would be resonance here. These double bonds and single bonds, they'd all be averaged. But the overall charge on the sulfate ion would be two minus. And it's helpful to look at one resonance form really to see the formal charge. This is Dr. B looking at the charge on the sulfate ion. It's two minus. Thanks for watching.